you notice this was difficult. This was tricky, right? What's tricky is it, it keeps on turning and twisting in orientation and it gets your head a bit confused, right? Now, Levesque noticed this as well. He's like, this way, it fills the curve, sure. But it's, um, it's hard to wrap your head around. Get to see what it did there. Anyway, okay, so, so therefore he thought, I want to do a way that retains its orientation, okay? Lebesgue, so L-E-B-E-S-G-U-E, -E -E, okay? Now, in order to do that, in order to have something that doesn't keep twisting and turning, he had to kind of, inverted commas, break one of the rules, okay? So here's his curve. He went in this order. I'm going to put the numbers in for you, okay? He went like this. One, two, three, uh, no, sorry, not three, three here, and then four. Okay, so you see it's very, very similar to this order, one, two, three, four. He's just flipped this upside down. So to make this work, to start here and end here and visit all the points, he has to do a diagonal. Here we go. One, two, three. It is kind of cheating, isn't it? But what he's trying to do, he's trying to solve this problem of, like, this is confusing. It, it gets very, very complex, right? So you can see, watch this, watch what happens when we do it this way, okay? If you can go with this, if you're content to break the rules in this way, right? When I do my Lebesgue curve of Lebesgue curves, right? I'm going to start down in here. This is the first one I'm going to do, right? And then I want to end here, 1 into 2. You see that? 1 into 2? I'm going to go 1 into 2. So here's what he does. He goes... Makes his end. Okay. And then he's like, hmm, I need to get up into here, right? So what he does is he's just like, well, I've already broken the rules that you can't do diagonals. Might as well just break it again. And he goes like so. Okay. Now, having started here, he can just copy his shape. Right? Watch this. Okay. No confusing twists and turns. But, again, you see you have this, you're trying to fix a problem, you create a new problem. If I go one, two, three, four, where must I go next? I've got to go all the way down here, right? And I'm trying to, the whole point is to keep the orientation. So that means I should really be ending, starting there, right? So that means he's going to, just like he did here, traverse all the way through <laughs> here, right? In order to get his copy of the original curve. Right? And then the same thing here, one, two. So, what's he done? Okay, he has still visited everything, hasn't he? Right? He's gone, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's doing it block by block in a simpler kind of way. He doesn't have to twist and turn, right? So, let's see if we can do, if you can have a go at giving these two a shot and doing its third iteration for the Levesque curve, okay? I actually think it's one of the easiest ones because you just, you just copy, okay? Give it a shot.